Yo, JD here, Tyrell Lemus, and as you can see, we are back on F1 2017 once again. And this video here today is going to be maybe a controversial one, or probably not controversial, but quite an interesting one, I think. And I haven't tested this, I haven't, I've been warming up a little bit on time trial before. Uh, with the assists and no assists, just so I've, I've got a good balance where I'm actually going into this now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around Spain, which I think is a really good testing track to actually test this sort of thing. I believe I did this last year on F1 2016, so I don't know which is going to be quicker. And the purpose of this video is, as I said, it's going to be testing no assists versus assists. And when I mean assists, I mean using medium traction control because full traction um, I just use it now, it, it bogs down too much, but the medium traction with ABS racing line, it doesn't make any difference to me, so we'll be doing that and seeing how we go along. So we're going to go in Grand Prix mode, modern cars, we're going to go in Lewis Hamilton's one, why not, we'll go in this one, and we're going to go on Spain here, and what we're going to do, we are going to do free lap distance. AI, I think we're just going to turn it down to 90 because we don't really want to get involved in any battles. We want to actually focus on actually doing well in this and trying to get a good perspective. So we're going to do three laps, starting with the no assist first. Uh, we're going to be using default setup and just standard mix. So we're not going to go in rich or anything. We'll just try and keep this as level as possible. Of course, there's many factors that go into this, like my driving. I could be driving well in one race compared to the other, but this is going to be uncut. So if you want to skip ahead to, I'll probably put it down in the minutes of when I go on the assist video, but we're going to do three laps of each standard and just see what it is. For me personally, I don't really know which is going to be quicker, but it doesn't really make too much difference for me because I'm going to do leagues where there's no assist anyway. But when you're racing online in public lobbies, even if someone's not quite as good as you and the assists are quicker, then that could make it a little bit more exciting. For me, I, I don't mind at all and the closer ratings better, but yeah, let's see how we go along. So we'll just move along well, this bit, skip qualify. this bit, and let's see. So, yep, car set up. We're just going to run default. In the Mercedes game place, the first time you may have seen this. And what we were looking for, yep, we were just going to check we're not running any assists. Um, so you can see I was actually in time trial recently, so we're going to go back to no assists now. So no assists at all. Starting on pole or second. So let's do this. Hopefully we can get a pass Bottas as quick as possible. Try and get an accurate test. So as I said, no rich mix. Let's so get in this slipstream. Might try and dive bomb him here. Hopefully it should be a lot easier. Yeah, just about, just about, so. Okay. So I'll try and drive quite well. I'll drive as fast as I can. And nice little game pace, Spain on board with Mercedes as well. Should be quite good, so. And I was using assist just before this. And it is, that's definitely a lot more wheel spin with no traction, which obviously you would expect. But the biggest thing for me was the braking. The braking was uh, a lot easier. So let's try and drive well. This is normally quite a good track for me. So showcase the handling a little bit more as well. As I said, if I don't talk, that's because I'm concentrating. But apparently quite a few people don't mind that. So hopefully you enjoy this and that you're enjoying the content as well, not just for myself, but from other people. So all right, let's try and see do some good laps now. A little bit of a lock up there. Too much that curve is not good. I really, really like this track in this game. And this sunset as well. It's a nice little scenario. So, alright, let's focus up here and see what we can do. It's 100 meter board going to hit. Clipping that nicely. I want to go half on the curve and miss it completely. Flat around here with default setup, just about. Just before this shadow. Fourth gear. Throw nice and early. As the pole goes away from the left, that's your breaking point. Do a late apex with this. Control and car really nicely. 
as the curb starts. So going full power to you to cast straight, end this curb. Taking that quite nice, so you got up to 800 meter board for this. My apex again, don't go on that curb on the outside. Half on this curb. Keep nice and tight for this. Really tricky corner, but as the curb ends. For the shadow. It's pretty good, so there's a few little lockups, but this is a pretty solid lap. Pretty good, so let's see what time this is. 20.1, it's pretty good. Any best have done in qualifying, it's like a high 17 on mine, so let's try and do another consistent one again. So, half on this curve, you can see it drags you around. So, you get a nice bit of bare line, it kind of just sweeps you around if you manage to get a sweet spot on that just before this. So, you can see we're purple, a half a tenth. Let's try and make this a good one. Try and go really good in this lap. So I can attack this corner a little bit more now. So yeah, attacking it more. Okay, exit. More speed than last time. Bit too deep. A little bit too deep, but a tenth up. You can really lose the car there, as you can see, almost lost it. Getting quite a nice exit. A bit more aggressive this time. A bit more aggressive through here. So, don't know if we go beat this. Imagine we've just about beat our time. Let's see what we get. So, yeah, pretty much the same time. So, <coughs> three solid laps there. Not bad not bad at all so we're just going to try and end this so let's see so we did a 20.1 two laps in a row so that was good nice consistent laps we did there and this is going to be uncut we're just going to restart the race so maybe a little bit of a longer video but if we just skip well, this, this, this is where, now that Anthony Davis and we are going to restart the race and now the we're going to use assist this time and i obviously don't use this i use no assist all the time so I may not be as consistent, but let's do this now. So we're going to do assists, anti lock brakes on, traction control medium. Because as I said, full traction, it's just too slow. Racing line always half off, makes no difference to me. So we'll go use these two, see how we get along with this. And just to prove there's no surf as well, no surf again. So, right. <clears throat> so start the second once again. So let's see, we should get a better start this time. Wow. <laughs> so that's a, a lot better start. I think I might have just nailed it as well, but that's a lot better start. Getting low revs on the start is key. Going a little bit deep. Didn't mean to hit my teammate, but we just managed to get through there. So, all right, let's see how this feels. And you'll be able to see on four applications as well if you want to compare it to the session four. And yeah, we're, we're not even gradually on the throttle is a lot easier you know a lot more confidence so full throttle now see that there's no <clears throat> no real kick am I oversteering this yeah we can I feel like I could go a lot early on the throttle which obviously you do expect of having some element of traction control let's see what the brakes are like now so I'm going to break really hard Just try not to travel that's pretty interesting because normally when you have ABS on, you can't really move around when you're actually under braking. It normally limits you from doing that. It feels like I've still got the rotation in the car. So, right. So now let's try and do some good laps. So definitely the throttle is a lot easier. Which, as I said, you definitely expect. So let's see. I think we did a 24 on the first time. So hopefully it's not a second faster. But again, we'll go push it and see what we can do. Half on that curb. Just about flat out here. So managed to get a nine, pretty nice. Just before this. 
Problem is, I'm still that trail breaking even though I've got ABS on, but. Play Apex. Yeah, 100% of throw, no risk of spinning out there, so it could be a lot more confident. It was okay, not a great exit. Pretty nice for aggressive through there, that's how you want to take it. It's pretty nice, really on the throw. Yeah, and that's a lot easier with uh, medium. And this is a really good lap, actually, to be honest. So this will be interesting. This feels pretty good. One mistake in the middle, but 20 odd. So that's actually kind of reassuring because I felt that was a much better lap than I did in the session before. So let's do one more. So missing it this time, middle of the track, then you want to turn in. We've got two out wide, just about keep it on. Let's try and push in this one. It's a really, really early. Car's absolutely fine. Missing the apex, but that's okay actually. We don't have to get super tight, use the camera at the corner. Let's try and get a bell line through here, which we do this time. That's much better than last lap. End of the curve. It's really nice. Pretty much perfect, that. Eighth gear, 100 meter board. Too deep. We'll continue lap anyway. It's this corner I feel is most beneficial because, yeah, a lot easier through there. Ah, Jesus. That's annoying. But as you could see by that video, you know what, well, actually, shall we, yeah, shall we, let's go back actually, see if we can actually do that. Let's go through here. So we'll do this, we'll leave on this. Let's see what kind of we could do. Ah, not a great chicane, but let's see what kind of lap it was. And that was slower because we didn't do like good last chicane. But to be honest, that's actually quite encouraging because I actually felt on that second lap and that second session with assists, that felt a lot more complete than I did the first time. And I know in the first one with no assists that I could definitely go a couple or a few times faster. So that was pretty encouraging actually. It's a lot easier, but I feel you could actually go faster and no assists, but it looks like it's really close. But no. Yeah. It could be difficult if you're not as comfortable with no assists, then it could be a lot more of a challenge. But if you're someone like me who's been playing it for a you know, good few years or four years now, no assists, it's pretty much just like second hand. It's something you don't even think about. But if you want to get used to the game, then definitely medium traction is something I recommend. I'll probably do this around another track as well, maybe China, something like that. But hopefully you enjoyed that video. Just let me know what you think with the no assist thing. For me personally, I don't mind too much as long as. Ideally, I'd like no assist to always be quicker once you get up to the pace of it, but yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool video to do. Thank you as always for supporting the kind comments, really, really appreciate it. And I will catch you next video, which will probably be today, if not, it'll be tomorrow. So, thank you very much, and catch you next time. Cheers.